for a long time, nothing happens. Oh, there you go. Then finally, a take. And this time, it's big. Yeah, this is a heavy fish. We have a fish. This feels quite, quite a good size. Might need to come along this side here, swimming, swimming upstream. Oh, it's a kick, a kick, a kick, a kick. It's off again. This is, uh, this is going to be an interesting fish, I think. We're in about 15 feet of water. It's going down under the boat. I think it could be quite handy to get the anchor up. I'm starting to worry a little bit now, because this fish is, is on this gear. It's taken a while to come in. There's a risk that the shark will just come and chop it in half, which we don't want. It's going to surface. It's going to surface. There it is, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Running again. Leaders in sight, leaders in sight. You can see the fish. OK. We have it in the boat. We have it in the boat. Dusky cob. This is what I was after, and it's a good size one. Dusky cob spend most of their life in the sea, but also migrate into rivers. At just over five feet long, this shimmering fish is easily woman-sized. Mark, my guide, has already confirmed that cob have a red reflective layer in their eyes. So have I finally got my hands on the silvery creature behind the mermaid mystery? So I'm thinking for some of those stories, at least, where people claim to have seen a supernatural creature, a mermaid, breaking the surface of the river, I actually think this real life, flesh and blood creature, was what they saw. The belief in a creature that's half woman and half fish is deeply rooted in South African culture. Over the centuries, it has been endowed with supernatural powers and blamed for disappearances and even deaths. This fish demonstrates that there may be real-life creatures behind the stories, hidden away in dark waters that are every bit as marvelous as the myth. <laughs>